Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, Indian School of Physics. Guys, this is Nathan here. Today I have come with a problem from Pathfinder. It's a very nice problem and uh, the solution is also very amazing for this. And it is uh, from rotation CYU13. Guys, here is the problem uh, statement. An attempt is me, uh, being made to roll a rigid sphere of mass M up a vertical wall. Coefficient of friction between the sphere and the wall is mu. Find the minimum force applied on the sphere to roll it up. Acceleration due to gravity is g. So let's discuss the concept part of uh, this problem. So I have written here something that in order to roll the sphere up the wall, we must apply force uh, to provide the normal reaction because uh, uh, in order to roll it against the wall, we must generate this normal reaction so that it can touch. So one component of this force will be pressing this uh, sphere against the wall and another one uh, will uh, generate uh, friction because it's a rough wall. So definitely if uh, this wall was not rough, this sphere would have moved. So friction also generates here. Uh, just uh, pay attention to the direction of friction. At the instant of slipping, that means uh, this is in a static equilibrium and uh, friction has reached its uh, maximum value, then the total contact force will have a unique direction. Uh, I have used this concept in the last problem also. Uh, you can see uh, that rolling carpet problem and here also I'm going to use the same concept because at the time when this sphere is on the verge of slipping, you will uh, find out that here about uh, this tan theta is fr by n and its value is mu fr is mu into n all right so now uh, this direction is fixed it will be always at angle of friction it's a it's a very nice method and it helps uh, reduces the calculation significantly so this is the fixed direction here mg direction is also known to us so you can see the point of intersection of these two and this will be a unique point here. So can we say here definitely this direction of F till the time it is not moving direction of F line of action of F must pass through this point. Right. Because uh, net force has to be zero and net torque has to be zero when this sphere is in uh, static equilibrium and it is on the verge of uh, uh, slipping right rolling up so uh, i think you have got this idea so now for limiting case we know that friction is maximum so total torque and total force is uh, zero so if we try to draw the vector diagram i know mg its uh, direction is uh, fixed magnitude is known and this r its direction is uh, fixed its magnitude is not known to us direction is fixed now this f will be somewhere on this line this f will be somewhere on this line right in order to complete that vector triangle so minimum value will come when this f will become perpendicular to this when this f will become perpendicular to this line so uh, if you see here this angle is angle of friction theta so here this angle is also theta that means from the vertical this f vector is making angle of theta so in this diagram also f is making angle of theta from the vertical so now we can uh, very easily write that uh, for minimum value force f will be perpendicular to the total contact force so cos theta is equal to this f minimum divided by mg we can write in this vector triangle so f minimum value will uh, directly get mg cos theta cos theta is 1 by mu square 1 by root of mu square so f minimum is mg by uh, root of 1 plus mu square this is going to be the final answer for this problem i hope uh, you have enjoyed this method and it reduces the problem so many students have asked this problem so i thought uh, i'll give it a try and uh, guys uh, like in previous video also i have uh, given this information especially for the droppers of uh, 20 for 2022 je so sct test is there for droppers it's on 11th and 12th september timings are uh, given 9 am to 12 pm and uh, you can scan this code in order to enroll this and uh, you can use my code Nathan sir anywhere on this uh, platform in order to access the free uh, lectures or uh, test papers or quizzes 
and yeah these are the upcoming batches uh, 8 september uh, emerge 2.0 batch has started and similarly vault 2.0 has started on 8 september and uh, another batch for droppers leader batch it has also started on 8th of september so those who are interested can definitely look up to these so i hope you have enjoyed this uh, solution it's a conceptually very rich problem in my opinion so if you have got the idea please like a video share this video uh, share this video with other people i'll be coming up very soon with another one thank you